but then, and at the time, I was there was a single family house, that same one that I showed, that I was remodeling to make it a traditional rental property. Then when I got wind of this Airbnb thing, then I said, you know what, let me furnish this one. Let me try it on this one. And I never forget the day I listed it. I furnished it and I listed it and I was like, man, I don't, I just put my, flipped my phone down and I started watching a movie. Within an hour, somebody just inquired. It wasn't even a booking, just an inquiry. But the level of excitement. Yeah, you, just, that movie, that movie, you don't even remember like, the movie. Yeah, and they were like, they were like, oh, hey, do you, can you, do, you, do you have pictures of this? Does it have this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it has all that. Book it. It's ready for you. Book it. And, and so then he ended up not booking it. But then the <laughs> next day, I woke up with two bookings. Okay. And when I woke up with two bookings and I did the math and I said, wow, even at 50% occupancy, even at half the month booked at this price, which was lower than the market price, and I came in at lower than the market price, I'm still looking to double what I would make with a long-term traditional rental. And it always became a no-brainer for me. 